And Mikey can feel the excitement in the air. Our gladiators love to kick off with Powerball. Gets the adrenaline pumping. They like to establish their dominance right off the bat. Both contenders having trouble getting started. Willie Cooley fought off a double team and Tower went in the other direction to attack Tony and Willie was the recipient of that. Willie again using that screen that Tony Bettendorf set up actually. Willie thinking about that center pod but couldn't make it. But still managed to score in the corner. Willie a double gold medalist at the Deaf Olympics. Outstanding quickness. Tony Bettendorf actually went with that ball between his legs, and again, he uses Tony as a screen. Five seconds left to go. Worst possible scenario. All three gladiators have run into the court. That is it. Let's total it up for Willie Cooley and Tony Bettendorf. Excellent way to start things off. Interesting set of circumstances cropped up in this game of Powerball. Let's take a look at it on the Zonka Strader. Usually when you have three gladiators move to one side of the floor, it's curtains for the contenders. But watch what happens here. Tony Bittendorf in the purple right there acts as a blocker for Willie Cooley. He picks off the gladiators and allows Willie a free trip down the sidelines. And there he goes unmolested, scoring an easy two points. Willie, however, not so fortunate on this next go around. Watch here. The footwork is excellent. Worthy of dance fever. Bounces back, but he tries to split the double team. Actually, laser in the neutral zone shouldn't be there. And he gets the ball stripped as he tried to go for that center cylinder. Foiled that time, but he comes right back with a move. Take a look at this. Almost like basketball. Sees a little hole in the zone and picks up the points. Now the work of Tony Bettendorf trying the hidden ball trick there, hiding it behind his back, looking for room to roam. Finds just a little opening like Willie did and scored as well. Now it's the women's turn to play Powerball for the Gladiators. It's six foot three inches of sky. Her partner, the Zapster, will man the middle and at the other end, it will be Electra. Our contenders, Lisa Langston from Arlington, Texas, lost in the first round to Tracy Jernigan, qualifies here because of an injury to Dr. Elizabeth Pepe. Shannon Williams won her first round match, beating Kathy Marshall. She's Get back ready. again. This was Lisa Langston's best event. She talked about those preliminary round jitters. She doesn't have them anymore. She scores in the center cylinder. Shannon scored on the outside. And again, Shannon scores. Lisa with those great football-like moves. She almost looks like a halfback. A member of our national team handball squad excels in many sports Lisa Langston were closing in on 10 seconds to go and both contenders running out of gas to stop the clock with three seconds this guy got a little high three seconds disqualification sky she commits the big air you'll see it right here she goes for the head that's one thing referee Larry Thompson won't permit out she goes. So now it'll be two gladiators versus our contenders. One on one here. Three seconds left on the clock. Not a lot of time, but there is the possibility for one last score. Contenders ready. Gladiators ready. And Shannon William gets it, and so does Lisa. Two great moves. When quickness meets size, quickness wins out most of the time. Sweet feet by Shannon Williams. Talk about fancy footwork. Look at Lisa Langston dust two gladiators at once. Zap and Electra right there. Now watch what happens as she jukes around, eluding the gladiators. They collide. Lisa comes free and picks up an easy five points. Now let's take a look at it from the ground level. What great moves. We're shaking and baking at Gladiator Arena.